Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cracking Maths with Shufia and let's do part 2 of our MCQ session of the chapter Ratio and Proportion and remember these MCQ practices uh, sharpen our knowledge and clear our concepts more on the top of that it's like a mini revision of that particular chapter so ki kobo lagibo concepts clear there is no fear <laughs> okay etia ami arambha kori diu aru start kora agote moi eta kotha share koribo bisarisu in our next video we will start a new chapter which is um, algebraic expression so please connect hoi thakibo okay Let's start. By the way, viewers, this channel and all its content is and will always be free of cost. All I ask is your encouragement and support. And yes, I am very much grateful to all of you who are already served and watch my videos. I request to those who have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel to watch more of my content. And don't forget to hit the like button too. Thank you so much. Question 1. The ratio of 1 hour to 300 seconds is here. 4 options are given. Uh, dear children, after getting this type of question, what to think first? What to think? Yes, simple. Firstly, the units of the numbers should be same. And secondly, ratio does not contain any unit. Okay, so now we'll convert hour to second, right? Okay, converting one hour is equal to 60 second. This is known to all. So our ratio will be 60 is to 300. That is 60 divided by 300. That means 1 is to 5. That means 3 is the correct option. So we'll bubble this 3. Okay. Question number 2. Which of the following two ratios is greater? 17 is to 18 and 10 is to 11 okay four options are given so naturally equivalent fraction concept yes children another one with equivalent fraction we all practiced it uh, many times the main concept of equivalent fraction is to multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator with the same number okay so i'm starting doing now 17 is divided by 18 that means 17 is to 18 and uh, another one is 10 divided by 11 now I'm multiplying this with both numerator and denominator with this 11 17 into 11 by 18 into 11 and this one I'm doing with this 18 10 into 18 11 into 18 now it becomes 17 17 this one is 18 and this one is 18 1 sorry, 18 8 1 18 1 sorry, 18 plus 1 is 19 and this one is our 180 divided by 18 one sorry, this is 198 so you see both the numerators become equal as 187 is greater than 180 that means our uh, this fraction is greater than this one that means 17 by 18 is greater that means our correct option is number one question number three the ratio of market prices of wheat and paddy is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of quantities consumed in a family is 5 is to 4 find the ratio of expenditure of wheat and paddy okay uh, what is given here uh, which um, uh, this one market price is to paddy market price is equal to how much 2 is to 3 and given quantity consumed wheat quantity consumed is to that is uh, quantity consumed is equal to 5 is to 4 okay now we know price into quantity is equal to expenditure yes that means if we buy um, if we buy suppose 3 kg of anything with rupees 20 per kg then 3 into 20 that means 60 will be the our total expenditure is isn't it so uh, now as we have to find out the ratio of expenditure so it becomes uh, quite easy for us we will just multiply the ratio of our price and quantities so here ratio that means 2 by 3 into 5 by 4 this is equal to 2 to 4 that means 5 is to uh, sorry sorry 5 is to 6 
that means our 2 is the correct option so i will bubble answer 2 so question number 4 the three numbers are in the ratio half is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4 the difference between the greatest and the smallest numbers is 36 find the numbers let the numbers be k by 2 and 2k by 3 3k by 4 Our k is a variable, and now, dear children, to compare, we must convert them into equivalent fractions having same denominator. Here, LCM of two, three, four is equal to twelve. We know, so I am converting them into equivalent fraction of with denominator twelve. That means two into six. Here also, it will be six k, and this one will be three into four. That means three into four, and this one will be our eight k, and this is equal to four into three. 4 into 3 and this one will be our 9k okay and uh, here you see this one is the greatest one and uh, this one is the um, smallest one okay so now uh, what to find out that means um, what is given here exactly difference between these two number is given greatest and smallest and here 9k minus 6k means our 3k 3k by 12 is equal to given how much 36 that means k is equal to 36 into 12 divided by 3 this is equal to 46 and 12 and 2 or 14 144 so this is 144 now we will get the numbers by putting this value of k so our first one will be k by 2 that means 144 by 2 second one will be 2 into 144 by 3 and third one will be 3 into 144 by 4 okay we can cancel out now 27 sir this one 224 4 and this one will be our 34 12 3 24 this one will be 43 12 46 sir this is equal to 72 and this one is our 96 and this one will become 108 okay this one is quite time consuming compared to other sum okay so uh, you see which option is the correct option 729610 yes 4 number 4 is the correct answer okay so i'm bubbling here so question number 5 find the value of x in the proportion x is to 6 proportional to 150 is to 10 okay here what to think first tumaluke ko question Yes, hi. I mean, formula we have to use. Who can solve it? Or formula? What is it? Question. Exactly. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. Here, extremes means last or middle two are there. Here, extremes are middle or two are means. Hi. At the moment, I am going to do this. So, 10x is equal to 150 into 6. That means x is equal to 150 into 6 by 10. Pretty simple sum is this is our 90, so 2 is the answer. I'm bubbling 2. Hi God. Question number six. The third proportional to 18 and 54 is here. It's given options, and uh, this one also we'll do by using formula. We know if A B C are in proportion where C is the third proportional, then B square is equal to A C, and therefore C is equal to B square divided by A. And in this case, a is equal to 18, b is equal to 54, c is equal to 54 into 54 divided by 18. 18, three zero this uh, 54. This is so three four zero twelve two three five zero fifteen plus one sixteen. That means one sixty two is the correct answer. So I'll bubble here. Option three. Question number seven by giving rupees fifty to m. A would have the amount equal to what M had earlier. If the sum of the amounts with A and M is rupees six fifty, what is the ratio of the amount with A to that with M earlier? Okay, here two conditions are given. So uh, the first condition is that the sum of amounts is rupees six fifty, and let us take the amount of A is rupees X, and amount of uh, amount of M is rupees X. M is equal to rupees X. And a is rupees uh, y. Okay, so according to condition, x plus y is equal to this 
650 this is our first condition now second condition you see bhalke pori lua tumaluke agot m or logot kiman toka ase y to dia ase y logot jodi ami 50 add koru tetia hole he tu ki hoy jabo er soman hoy jabo no no children uh, this should be x plus 50 m is x ami ki dhorisilu m or rupees x therefore x plus 50 is equal to y okay so it was our second condition and uh, now using these two equations we will get the value of this x and y here uh, our x is equal to y minus 50 i'm putting this y minus 50 into this one that means y minus 50 plus y is equal to 650 so our 2y is equal to 650 plus 50 that means 700 that means y is equal to 700 by 2 which is equal to we know 350 350 hoi gol our value of y and the value of x is equal to how much x is equal to 650 minus 350 650 minus 350 which is equal to 300 now in the question now in the question what are they asking ratio of a to m or m to a yes ratio of uh, ratio of a to m and a is our y therefore y is to x that means y means our 350 350 is to 300 is equal to 350 by 300 this is equal to 5 6 7 7 is to 6 that means our 4 is the correct option so i am bubbling here okay i am writing here this one is our correct answer Question number 8, if 3a is equal to 4b is equal to 5c, then a is to b is to c is equal to how much? Okay, uh, let us take 3a is equal to 4b is equal to 5c is equal to x, any variable, then we, we are getting uh, a is equal to our x by 3, b is equal to x by 4 and c is equal to x by 5 and now i am multiplying this with the number 60 to this one taking out from this fractional form so you see what concept have i used here yes what concept exactly equivalent ratio concept again yes we can multiply or divide this um, the numbers with ratio with the same number with all these uh, uh, numbers so i am multiplying with 60 now i'm getting 20 this one is uh, 4 ones are 4 4 fives are 4 fifteens right? sorry. this is equal to 20x and 15x and this one is our 12x okay so again i'm dividing with uh, x we are getting 20 15 and 12 therefore a is to b is to c is our 20 is to 15 is to 12 that means 3 is the correct answer finished Adam.